Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your April 2021 Love Life Reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sign. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Holy cow, look at that. Wow, love and abundance coming in. Good news, a new offer in love. If you are straight up single, it is coming for you super quickly. Others of you that have already been partnered up or waiting on a partnership to, you know, take a little bit of a more serious turn, it's happening. Somebody here finally has the courage to say how they feel and what their intentions are moving forward. Beautiful. That is so amazing. Um, if you are new to me, welcome. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Those of you that are my regulars know that I generally uh, do the singles and couples separately within the reading. This time I just changed it up. I feel like so many of the singles and couples have been dealing with the same type of energy for the month. The only difference is that some of you are singled and some of you are coupled. Now, I decided just to pull the energies for the entire month and then clarify um, oracle messages for couples and singles at the end. Sorry for the redundancy here. Oh, interruption, guys. Okay, so as I was saying, those of you that are singled, oh my God, you've got beautiful new love coming in, an offer of love. This is a destined partnership. Oh, wow. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, we've got the Capricorn here. We've got Virgo there. We also have Aries. Uh, this is you as the Queen of Cups here, or you could be dealing with another Earth. Uh, water sign i really have just about every single sign not so much of the air signs but you know a little hint of air here yeah i feel like for the singles you are moving forward i feel that you're finally opening up ready to receive new love ready for that new chapter in your life you're leaving behind old ways toxic partners energies you know if you've caught your previous readings i have had those energies of like finally letting go of old partnership I'm sorry, give me a moment. I'm getting a message of, it's almost as though you got really choked up at the idea of leaving a specific person behind. So if you feel that somebody that you have been coupled up with for a long time, someone that you were very interested in having like you're happily ever after with, or maybe you are married and you're finally at that realization of, okay, that chapter of my life is over. It's time for me to move on. I suddenly felt like choked up and I felt an immense amount of emotions come up because it took you so long to finally gain the strength and the realization that it's time for you to take care of yourself. It's time for you to honor and love yourself. It's time for you to really be in a place mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially, whatever it is that you felt you needed in your life to be in a place of stability, of love, of joy, of harmony. You know, I feel that the moment you decided that's it, I'm not going to I'm not going to keep myself in this old cycle. Uh, some of you, that cycle wasn't even turning. It was just there, stagnant, no movement, no momentum. And I feel that the minute you finally said, okay, what's keeping me here? Why am I here? We have not moved forward at all for whatever reason. There has been no inkling, no hint, no effort made on the other person's part or, or even on your part. And so it's time. And the minute you decide to start taking better care of yourself, uh, you know, start to start doing yourself, the self-love, self-care, all of that to take care of yourself, you start re returning your to yourself, your own self-respect, you know, your boundaries start coming back in. You forgot what it was like to be fully within your power of feeling confident enough to move forward within your life. And, you know, that seven of pentacles here with the emperor card, I, I feel that the minute you decide that's it, it's time to move on. I'm getting my shit together and you realize, okay, well, actually I'm not too far back. I'm not too far behind on my path that I thought I might have been, you know? And so it becomes easier for you to move forward. You feel more balanced and secure about how you move forward 
If you're single, you're ready and looking for that love partnership to come in. You're you're not taking no for an answer if it's somebody who, you know, you really you're really into that you can really feel they bring about a very stable commitment. I feel that with that person, you're ready and willing to put in the work. Again, this feels like a an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I'm also feeling that if you have been waiting for this earth sign to come around, I feel like they're breadcrumbing you. They've been trying to keep you attached, to keep you in a commitment where they don't put forth any effort. And so you're left holding all the responsibility. And instead of moving forward together, you realize you've been on this journey, on this relationship, on this path alone. So you might as well be single. That is how I heard it. So if you are coupled, I feel that, that some of you may get an opportunity for a new job, for advancement in the workplace, promotion, an opportunity to relocate. I do see travel. Some of you may be going away for spring break, on vacation. Uh, you know, there's... Okay, some of you may, yeah, maybe going away on a trip and that's where you meet someone. For others, you're taking like a family trip, a family vacation, and you have like a new job, new opportunity waiting for you when you come back. Now that page of wands, yeah, it tells me that's that's good news. That's especially good news in love. That That's telling me the person you love, you've been waiting for, feels the same way. They've been waiting for you to come around. They've been waiting for you to not push them away. They've been waiting for you to be open to receiving whatever it is that they have to offer. And the minute you give them the green light, you open the door, you let them in, they come rushing in. But make sure... <laughs> It's for the long term because I feel some of you may get scared if the other person is moving too quickly. Others of you, it's like, yeah, you want them to come in super quick. Let's get it going. How long have I been waiting for this to happen? You know, you've kept me on standby for far too long and I've put in more work into this connection than you have because this right here at the bottom of the deck, you are the queen of cups, not the bottom of the deck, the bottom row. You are the queen of cups, searching your happily ever after, balance, union, stability, a sense of belonging with a partnership, children, family, and the person that comes in is very immature and not willing to, not, not at your level. But I feel like they come in and they acknowledge that they're, they haven't always been at your level of what you wanted, not always being able to give you everything that you've wanted. And so now they're at the point of acknowledging that and wanting to put forth the effort. You have the sun card at the bottom of the deck. Very, very happy times for you ahead. Let me get another row to clarify. For whatever reason, I'm being called to pull three more. Yeah, the healing needs to take place. I also feel that there's an opportunity here to heal your money wounds. And I know that has come up for some of you in the past in terms of being afraid to leave a marriage, a partnership that is not for your highest good where that chapter is over. It's completely over and ended. But what's kept you there is probably money. Maybe it's a partnership or relationship that has been financially supporting you but it you just know it's not for your highest good it's not exactly what you want because what you want is your happily ever after and you got the sun card again so clearly that is what you're chasing what does pisces want hello union commitment good times happy times a change in your future in the newness and you're happily ever after. That is what you've been waiting for. What you have been wanting. I feel that if you leave a particular partnership behind. Because you've been afraid to leave them behind because of money. And it's a money wound. And you've got somebody that's already interested in you. That you've been knowing that they are. They are an, a viable option for you to move forward with them. I feel that you finally come clean and address that issue and say, listen, the reason why 
I haven't left that person, I haven't divorced that person is because of the financial situation. I'm still very dependent on them. They help me out with this. I'm really afraid that they'll withhold money from me. And so I'm really trying to hold on to every penny I can possibly get at this time. You know, um, but I'm curious here, how are they going to handle that? <laughs> because I'm nosy. How are they going to handle that money wound truth? Yeah, they're going to be a bit concerned about it. I feel that you finally let them know. And so they're just like, really? You're that worried, that stressed about money that you're willing to stay with someone purely for financial reasons? And yet this is someone who comes in and says, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I can help you. I can take care of you. I can, you know, assist you with whatever it is you feel you may need help with. If that, if you use that money to help you move forward, you know, pay your bills, whatever it may be, I will help you with that. I feel that you're still worried even though somebody offers to help you even further. I feel like you're still worried simply because you're like, yeah, well... What happens if we break up? What happens if this? Then how am I going to do it? But that is why you need to level yourself up, Pisces. What happens after that? Well, they may offer to, to marry you, actually. They may offer you a much more serious level of commitment. Or, you know, this can also be seeking the help of like a financial advisor, you know, going through a divorce, wanting you to really, this can, this kind of feels right here. Like, listen, I got this young thing, girlfriend that's married and I'm looking for her to get a divorce and leave and separate so that I can take care of her now. I feel like this person probably lines you up or hooks you up with whoever it is that you need in order to get this squared away so that you can be finally financially free and independent. Look at that. It may not be the full amount that you're used to, but you get to walk away with some money and some sort of assets. You're you're still going to be okay. That's what I'm feeling for you, okay? So if you needed to hear that, just know that as long as you take the steps to really, you know, find some in independence within yourself, you'll be okay. Things will still continue to move forward for you. And as long as you put your trust and faith into the universe, into the divine, you know, I feel like spirits got your back and you're shortchanging them. You're not allowing them to really help you here. This person that wants to help you out, that's part of the help that universe has been sending your way. So what does Pisces need to heal from this? Because I really feel like there's still some lingering issues here. <laughs> exactly. Feeling this level of entrapment. Feeling like you cannot leave this marriage, partnership, relationship. You cannot um, find your own independence. You are stuck to a particular person, place, or thing. Job that you hate. Partnership that is just hurtful, demeaning, uh, codependent, financially dependent. You really feel like you. there's no way out. You have no choice. I'm stuck here and that's it. But that's exactly what you need to break free from. That's exactly what you need to heal from. And once you do, you'll be able to find your financial independence again. And if you are not dealing with that type of energy, well, Spirit is saying you're not feeling like you have what it takes to be financially independent. You're still having doubt within you. The reason why you are in this entrapment situation, the reason why you are stuck in this partnership, relationship, whatever it may be for you, you know, sense of codependency. The reason why you're there is because you just don't feel like you have the courage to move on on your own, to file a divorce, to move out, to leave a toxic partner, whatever it may be. And for some of you, it, it may be, you know, a toxic family member that is affecting you in this way. Okay. So if you are in this coupled partnership, relationship, marriage that you're trying to leave, let me have a card. Let your friends help you. I'm telling you, this person that came in, and I want to say your reading a few months back had something similar to this. If I remember to link it here at, let's see, 13 minutes, I will try to look for that reading and link it here for you guys to check it out. Um, but check out any of the Pisces readings on my channel and there is one of those that, that gives a message like that, like 
This person is here to help you out, accept their help. It might actually be a weekly reading now that I'm thinking about it, but let your friends help you. And I feel like the universe had sent this person, whether it's a romantic partner, love partnership, somebody who's enamored by you that wants to help you, allow them, ask for and accept support from others. You know, allow them to, to help you get out of this. You'll be okay. And this could be the one that you end up with. You know, even if you're afraid to have anything serious with them because technically you're married. Technically you're living with someone. Technically you're dependent. You know, I'm not condoning cheating or anything like that. No judgment, but to each his own. We don't know what everyone's story is or their situation is. So, you know, before we got we get people, you know, throwing some negative comments down below just have a little empathy now if you're just straight up cheating you know i have no empathy sorry <laughs> no judgment but i have no empathy you got yourself into a situation it's time to get yourself out of it now i do feel like the person that i'm talking to that may be dealing with the situation is dealing with a very tough situation now if you are single and yet you still feel like you're waiting for that one person to come in i feel that you felt you knew who that person was and they just have never really put forth the effort that you wanted them to. You've been doing all the work and you've been waiting around year after year, day after day, month after month, week after week, however long you've been waiting for this person. It's time for the energies to change. I felt like this whoosh of air when I said that. When I said it's time, I felt like that moment when you open the front door and a big gust of wind comes in to help clear the air it is time for you to allow spirit to clear the air cleanse your house your home your environment open up all the windows let the air in you know really do a good cleansing to your home i really feel that you know it's time to switch up the energy in your home let's see singles Ooh, too many worth waiting for religious factors honeymoon and free yourself hmm <laughs> let me have a card for the singles religious factors and worth waiting for so clearly that message is for you you know if you're on a different spiritual path religious upbringing it's okay to have differences here for some it's a little bit harder because they are used to a more traditional connection or route um but i feel that this person may be worth waiting for once they start uh expanding their horizons and wanting to see what you're into what your uh spiritual upbringing religious upbringing has been like i feel that once they really open up and have the you know the the ability and the willingness to really see how your path unfolded and how you are where you are and where you plan on going i really feel that this person will open up to you okay so my pisces friends this is your april 2021 love reading Thank you so much. Make sure you hit give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will link here your weekly reading, your general reading, and any other reading that might interest you. Have a wonderful month. I will see you guys in your weekly readings. Take care. Bye.